is another fine mess. Thanks to your idiot son. You're as much to blame as he is. What? How? Exactly. Wait, what? You heard her! Don't yell at her! Don't yell at her! Well, on the show, we have difficulties with each other. However, in person, it's such a joy to be with, with the cast. We now love each other, and I think each and every one of us would take several bullets for anyone else in the group. So, so we put him in it. The voice cast of Archer is the greatest working voice cast in the history of television, due in no small part to my participation. Like, we aren't these people, but we also really kind of are. Except for myself and Chris Parnell, I think everybody's totally fine. So we're just supposed to sit here and twiddle our thumbs. It's very easy for John to be kind of, a, kind of an asshole in a joking way. He's like having the worst older brother. But just like Archer, he's kind of sweet. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to a taping of Archer. My name is Aisha Tyler. I play the role of Lana. And uh, here's the studio where we do it. The Archer voiceover process is a little bit different. It's just us on one end and then the talent in the booth wherever they're at. John likes to come in uh, cold and not really know what's going on, which actually works because a lot of times Archer doesn't know the situation that he's in. Um, I don't have a script, so I, I'm just stalling. You want me to read Lana? No, no. Oh. We want you to read Archer. Oh, OK. We'll read Lana. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll read Archer, I guess. We get a lot of the glory, but the people that are doing the real work are all the animators. Here at Floyd County Studios, we're always trying to push ourselves to make cooler shots, more interesting chase sequences that kind of push what we did before. From art direction, animation, to the illustrators, we never rely on what we did in past seasons. There are no shows that look as good as Archer. Suck it, haters. I went to Atlanta, like I would say, four years ago to Floyd County and meet all the animators. And I did feel like they were all looking at me like, wow, you total asshole. You have such an easy job. You got tough. And I, yeah, I think that's true. But that's not my problem. I love hearing when fans like come up and talk about like their favorite show or their favorite joke or what season they love best. Then I realize like, God, this is a really well-rounded show. Like they're writing something for everyone, maybe not children. Okay, I'm looking around and I'm seeing some pretty mopey faces. Yeah, because you're selling us into slavery down the spec mines. Wait, what? When we started genre hopping, it was a little jarring for fans at first, but it's this group of people. That's what the show is. If we put them in a 1930s on an island versus now we're in space, how does this gang deal with those types of situations that I think, I mean, fingers crossed, we could run this show for 30 more years if that's the case. You know, I've been around a long time. I, I've never been anything 10 seasons, but now I have. I hope it goes to another 10. No, well, maybe not. Another two. I don't want to be in my 60s and be yelling at Lana. Because you two were about to violate quarantine protocols, possibly exposing my ship to danger. It's not your ship. Half of it is. Because I had a shitty divorce lawyer. Whose fault is that? You're the one who wanted a divorce. When what I should have done is just wait for you to get murdered. I think there's a limit.